to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel for all of the support that i've gotten from my subscriber here on youtube for my subscribers yeah subscribers here on youtube i appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my channel if you are new to my channel this is the first time of you coming across stylish niger youtube channel i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button Hit on, I'm just trying to be funny, like seriously. Okay, hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell on the side also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. That's just like basically on the essence of the bell. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and attach a flounce coat shoulder. I think that's what's like what I should name the video. I actually don't know the name. If you do, please drop it on the comment section. I would actually want to know the name of this time so that's just the picture so just take a look at the picture that's what i'm going to be doing it's really simple beautiful and trendy and style that's what we're going to be doing today so i'm going to be um, drafting the flounce so i'll use my pattern paper and then before i transfer to the fabric and then we'll cut out and then this is the dress that we're going to be attaching it to it's really simple and easy okay so if you want to register for my online classes you see my number scrolling through the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp for those that want to register for online classes alone if you want to send pictures please i pray please please send your pictures to facebook instagram at stylish niger and then you can also follow me on pinterest also at stylish niger these are all all of these uh, social media platforms at stylish niger follow me on the on these platforms because i normally drop notifications of videos here also for you to see in case you miss it out here on what's like seriously, in case you miss it out here on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Stylish Niger. Okay, let's just get started. So I'll show you how to measure and to take the measurements for this kind of dress. Okay, so from the picture that I sent on to you earlier, so you notice that the flounce that was actually attached is attached on the chest line point so in order for us to know how to measure this so here is what we're going to do because it's going to actually start from the center back like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to place my tape like this and then i'll measure because it is a cold shoulder so i'm going to measure on the shoulder part like this because it's going to come uh, through the, the sleeve like this and then i would take it on the chest like this and then it goes back to the other parts of the back okay so at the end of the day what i have here is about 34 so that's what we're going to the length of what we're going to cut out okay so for this um, kind of flounce you can decide you, are, you can actually decide to cut it as a flounce or you can decide to cut it as a straight long and straight strap it will still work so it depends on what what you want if you want to pleat it you can decide to use a flounce method but if you are not going to pleat it you can just use a straight um, fabric that's what i mean by straight you can just fold your fabric like this just straight it depends on the length of what you actually want of the length of what you actually want so what what i have here is about six inches you can just cut that out so since the length we're using 34 if you are going to pleat it you can decide to double depends on how full you want it to be you can decide to double the length that's 34 plus 34 that's 68 or you triple it so it depends on how full you want it to be that's one method of um, cutting out your, your strap and then you use the length or you can decide to cut it like a flounce so for the flounce and method you can cut it in two ways you can decide to cut it like a play you can actually cut a flounce like that so you can cut it like a play as you fold and then you divide the six the 34 use your normal regular um, peplum formula to to divide it or you use your your normal freehand method of cutting out your your flesh so both of them i already have i've done a lot of videos on how to do that freehand method of cutting a flounce it's very simple and easy i'll drop the link in the description box and then freehand method of cutting a, a peplum so it's very simple and easy i'll just drop them just to save time on this video the last video i did was very long and i noticed it's like uh, most of my subscribers you people don't really like long videos 
the truth of the matter is long videos are good because when the videos are very long they are very detailed but i notice it most time when i do long videos you people don't like uh, giving me support for those videos so i just want to see your comments if you want long videos or short videos so let me know so you just and uh, depends on the length you want so for this i'm just going to use about seven inches like this that's if you are using the freehand method of cutting this this is seven inches and then you just cut like this so at the end of the day this we are going to be tripling it we are going to i'm going to multiply it to get my 34 that's to get my 60 i'm going to use 68 yeah i'm going to actually use 68 inches so i'm going to cut it like this so what i just want for me is just the uh, to show you in case you are using this method of clay so you see it will still work so you just open up like this and then you can use this also this time so you see the way it is you can see it so you see it's broken you can use this for seven inches you notice seven inches is very long so you can use this that if you don't want to pleat use this method but i advise if you want to pleat it use the normal straight method so i'm going to use i'm going to be using the straight method for this so I'm going to cut out my own strap, my own strap, and then I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, so I finished uh, cutting out my own uh, strap. So, and there's something that I actually forgot to, you know, I actually doubled my mine 30, it's supposed to be 34. So I doubled it, so I have 68. So what, another thing that you are going to put into consideration, your sleeve, your round sleeve measurement. So with that, you can decide to, if you are going to be pleating it, you can decide to add an extra of 10 inches to it so it fits in properly you can decide to actually do just add an extra 10 inches so instead of this 68 i'm going to have about 78 inches so why i'm i'm saying this so at the end of the day you don't want short of any fabric it's going to um, fit into a slip of any size the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take it over to my machine so for this if you are using an ankara fabric you can you would you might want to attach a lining to it so you have so the top part is neatly finished because it's actually going to be a top stitch or that's one the other one that you can do you can unfold it like this and then finish it up but that is going to really be rough so i would advise if you are going to be folding it like this you could decide to use hemming gum to fold it in and then you iron it and then you have a neat finishing on the the top like this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take it to my machine and i'm going to go and pleat it so what i'm going to pleat it to i'm going to pleat it to 40 that extra 10 inches that i added i'm going to pleat it let it be 48 inches why i'm pleating it to 48 inches is because of my sleeve so that 10 inches will go into for my round sleeve measurement so i hope you understand and you get it out so my advice for this is if you are doing it add extra fabric very well so you don't run into any problem so i'll just fold now okay so i finished and pleating my my strap so mine i actually don't want it to be too full because the fabric is very stretchy so it's okay the next thing we're going to do now we're going to measure we're going to mark where we're going to actually fix this on now so in fixing here's what you are going to do you are going to close up the back that's the zipper allowance part you close it up back because we want it to be accurate so let them be the same let one not be up and then the other one is down that's why we're doing this okay so i'm going to open this up and then you are going to determine how and um, for the center part there is a way of actually doing this because it is a cold shoulder if you notice the chest part that's the one down on the chest part is a little bit down but on the sleeve part you are not going to use eight inches that you are using on the chest part for the armhole part if not it's not going to work so here is what you are going to do you are going to determine for your coat shoulder most times when i'm doing coat shoulder it depends on how open you want the shoulder part that's your sleeve that's this part your bicep part it depends on how open you want it to be 
Mm -hmm. That is what you are going to use as um, consideration. So for this, I think I'm going to use about, uh, most times I normally use about 4, 4.5 inches or 4, 5 inches, depends. So for this, I think I'm going to use 5 inches for ease. So you are going to mark 5 inches on this part. This is the armhole part. You mark 5 inches here. And then on the chest line, you are not going to, if you use 5 inches like this, it's not going to be fine. So you are going to mark this part. So for this, the center part, you are going to use about 8 inches, which is the chest line. You know 8 inches is like standard uh, measurement for chest line. So I'll mark 8 inches like this. And then I'll come to this side also and then mark the 8 inches. Let the 8 inches come into the chest line part. But on this armhole part, again, I'm going to use my 5 inches that I used before. On this part, 5 inches here, 5 inches here, 8 inches here. Now, so the next thing now is we need to reconcile this. And in reconciling these lines together, you are going to determine how you actually want it to be placed. If you want it to come like this and then come like this, you just bring your artistic skills to work and then just mark what you want to see at the end of the day. So mine, I'm just going to make it simple. From my 5 inches here, I'm just going to, to blend it into those points like this. You see what I have? So I'll blend this in and then blend this one also into this part. So at the end of the day, mine is going to come like this. And then it comes down and then goes back into this part. And then I'll turn the back also. So for the back, you are going to determine what you, you want also for the back. How deep you want the back to be. That's on the down part of the back. For this part also, you are going to maintain your 5 inches. So this is like my 5 inches on this part. And then five inches also on this part like this so the next thing you are going to do now when you come to this down part that's the center back you can determine how deep you actually want it to be so you can instead of eight inches you can decide to make it ten inches it still is going to be perfect so ten inches just to give it one beauty so and then this is ten inches also so what you are, I'm going to do now so this is ten inches here now like this on this part So I'm just trying to make mark them, let them be the same. So now this this is our five inches for our coat shoulder. So we're going to reconcile it into this part like this. So you can decide to make it like a V. So you can decide to just mark like this, bring it down since it is coming down to get that V effect. And then from here, you come to those parts also. You come to your five inches also on those parts. You just blend it in also. So at the end of the day, so you see the shape that we already have here. So now in fixing it, it is very simple and easy. You are just going to open this up. Make sure you have not fixed your zipper before doing this. So I'm just trying to take so much time to explain this. So you see how it's going to come. You see your line. So you are going to take, you are going to take your piece like this. So for this, you can decide to fix into your zipper part or you just come out by one inch. So for this, I think we will do the one inch out part. So you fold this, depends on your finishing method. So I'll pin this on this point like this. So I'm going to be doing a top stitch following my lines. So since, since I've already um, pleated my, my dress, since I've already pleated my flounce, I'm just going to pin it. Like this. So for this, the edges, they are not going to free. So I don't actually don't have any problem. So once I get to this point here, this part is very important. I'm going to mark it. This is my armhole part. I'm not just going to, to come like this. Guys, I'm not just going to continue like this. Because if I continue like this, my armhole will not fit into this point. So what you are going to do, you are going to mark your, around, your armhole round. That's round of your armhole measurements. That's your, your sleeve, sorry sleeve and measurement so for my sleeve you see i'm folding it into two just to make sure i get my round sleeve measurement i hope my camera captures this properly okay so this is just like the the trick of this dress so on this part like this i'm going to get my round sleeve measurement so if my round sleeve is actually eight inches remember i added extra 10 inches then to my dress that's to my to all of my measurements that's why all of this measurement will come in so you are going to fold it into two like this and then you are going to measure your round sleeve measurement because this is a stretchy fabric i'm not going to use uh, 
8 inches that is supposed to be i could decide to reduce it by as much as um, up to like two inches that's like make use of like six inches because it is very stretchy so let's make use of let me make use of seven instead of ten so you see it is stretchy so it stretches in so but if you are using ankara just make sure you use your normal regular measurement so you may mark let me just say it's normal ankara i'm using so you mark your round sleeve measurement you fold it in total like this and then you measure it you see if it is eight inches you already have your eight inches that's divided into two and then what you are going to do you are just going to leave that part because you had already pleated and then on this part that's where you are going to start measuring so at the end of the day you are going to have this so this actually fits this actually drops and then gives it that beauty on your sleeve so you are just going to because it is already pleated you are just going to continue from this part like this so you pin it in so you already ha I already have my round sleeve measurement and then i would continue so when i get to this part now you need to follow follow the line so you have the you have it it will be beautiful i think that's just like the best the right word for me to use for it to be beautiful so i'm just trying to explain uh, so you get it nicely so you put just place it on the line like this and then just continue navigating with your pins i think i've talked too much in this video <laughs> okay so i'm just going to do that and then get back to the back part okay so at the end of the day this is how our flounce and cold shoulder dress looks like so like i said so the sleeve part so you see this part so you are just going to make sure that this corresponds uh, with the round sleeve measurement but if you want it to drop there are some that those parts would uh, actually not be tight it's just going to drop you can make it a little bit freer and then so you see the back so you see the cut that we added on the back part so if you want it deeper depends on what you want just like i said put your artistic skills to work and then it you get whatever you want to achieve for the back and then for the front also depends on the design you want on the front part you can just actually do that and then at the end of the day you just teach it on top like this finish up your armhole before you attach the flange so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did with this video so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video Bye. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm.